You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, B&B fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I want to talk about some things happening on the CBS Soap that could encourage Hope Logan to get on a plane and go get her man, Thomas Forster. Before we dig into five reasons why I think she really needs him back in her life right now, please subscribe so you don't miss any of our Bold and the Beautiful updates. There are a lot of things going on in Hope's life, things that are both directly affecting her and indirectly affecting her that I think are going to make things harder on her and that if she had Thomas around would be a lot easier for her to deal with. And I know for those of you who really want her back with Liam Spencer, you're probably looking at the scenes of the two of them this week being cute and talking about Beth and the zoo and the hippos as a sign that they're going to reckon. However, I am really not seeing a reunion for these two happen. First of all, Liam does not seem interested in Hope as anything other than a co-parent. And second, Hope only sees Liam as a co-parent and an ex-husband who is no longer a fit for her life or the type of man that she wants. I think Hope made that painfully clear to Liam this week when she told him, she needed a one-woman man, and that she genuinely loves Thomas. She did bring up the whole thing about Finn and Brooke talking about her rebelling or taking a walk on the wild side when it came to Thomas, and Hope admitted that that could have been a part of the initial attraction, but she grew to love Thomas. She just wasn't ready to get married to him. So what was annoying was that the official spoilers for this week said Hope was going to reveal the real reason she turned down his proposal. But they just didn't deliver that. Literally, Hope said she wasn't even sure why she turned down the proposal. That was what I heard. That was my takeaway. So basically, you know, what I hear from Hope Logan is that she's not sure exactly why she said no to Thomas and then brought up focusing on her career and being a mom and just things like that to try and rationalize the answer that she gave to Thomas. But she never said anything clear, which was, I don't even know why they wrote that spoiler when they weren't going to show it to us. But I think part of the issue was Hope took Thomas for granted. You know, for years, she's known Thomas Forrester was crazy about her, was at her beck and call, and she could literally ask anything of him and he would do it, no questions asked. You know that episode of Seinfeld where they talked about having hand in a relationship? It was basically about one person having a lot more control and influence than the other person in the relationship. That's the person that has hand. And until very recently, Hope had all the hand in that relationship, Thomas gave her everything she needed, everything she asked for, and even things she wanted but didn't know she necessarily wanted or to ask for. And basically, all he wanted back was love. I don't agree with what Steffi Forster said when she accused Hope of using Thomas as a naughty toy, you know. But I also don't think that Hope thought too much about what Thomas might need from their relationship because she was so focused on what she was getting. That's fine in the short term, but if you want a relationship to last, you know, both partners need their needs met. With all that in mind, I have five big reasons Hope should get on an airplane and go get her man back and her son and come back to LA together as a family. And the first reason is simply this. Hope loves and misses Thomas. First and foremost, there is a Thomas-shaped hole in her heart. And now that Hope finally said, I love you to him, she has repeated that to everybody she talks to. That's another reason I don't think she has any interest in reconciling with Liam. She made it very explicitly clear to her ex-husband that she is totally in love with and smitten with Thomas Forster, despite their complicated past and things he's done. She said she forgave him. She loves him. I don't think that a love that's so deep and meaningful and life-changing as she has called her love for Thomas is simply going to fade away. And all she has to do is go get on a plane, go be with the man she loves. The second reason is that Hope loves and misses her son, Douglas. You know, of course she misses Thomas, but she really, really misses Douglas and him being around Beth and all that good stuff. Douglas flat out told Hope he needed to go be with his dad. And it was essentially the kid's decision to go to Paris with Thomas. 
Hope, no doubt, could have stopped it, but she also decided Thomas really needed Douglas there after her rejecting his second marriage proposal and being so hurt. But Hope also made it very clear to Brooke that she saw herself and Douglas and Thomas and Beth as a family unit. So I have no doubt that Hope wants to put her little family back together and she could make it happen with one plane ticket. The third reason I think that Hope really didn't want to hurt Thomas and didn't want him to leave and she wants to kiss that boo-boo and make it better. So, I mean, clearly she didn't want him to go. And I honestly do think left to her own devices, Hope eventually would have moved that ring from the chain onto her finger, you know, because she was always playing with it and showing it to people. I just think if he had given her a little more time, because she definitely seemed to like the ring and like the idea of it, just just not on her finger, not just yet. And remember, Hope was absolutely devastated to see how badly she hurt Thomas by saying no to the proposal. She begged him not to leave, but like, boom, no, and he was gone. He needed to get away and clear his head. And I think that Hope needed to see what her life looks like without Thomas in it. And I think she sees it's, it's not exactly what she wants because she has that Thomas shaped space in her heart and in her life. The fourth reason I think she needs to go get her man is that Hope's personal life is about to get way more complicated. So this Sheila Carter thing is absolutely going to affect Hope, this resurrection. She's been there supporting her dad, Deacon Sharp, who's of course devastated that his nine-toed lover died. And this week, Hope and Liam agreed that Deacon can spend more time with his granddaughter, Beth, now that Sheila is out of the way. But if you recall, when Sheila first got out of prison with the charges dropped, Liam was solely worried about protecting Steffi and Kelly and didn't even bother to check on Hope and Beth. It was Thomas who vowed to keep Hope and her children safe. And with Sheila about to be back in Deacon's life, that's going to bring more stress to Hope, more worry about her safety and her kids' safety. And it would be great if she had Thomas there to comfort and protect her. The fifth and final reason that Hope really needs Thomas is Hope for the Future is about to implode without him. You know, her fashion line to me is looking doomed. With Luna finally telling RJ the truth, he turned into a Hulk smash monster, physically assaulted his cousin Zende at work, and none of that is good for business. I cannot see any way that RJ and Zende can work together on hope for the future, and there's no way Luna can be in that mix either, given that she's the reason they're brawling at the office. And if Thomas coming back means we don't have to deal with any more cheesy RJ Zende scenes, then sign me up for Hope to go bring Thomas home to save Hope for the future. And of course, I know there are some of you out there that really do not want to see Thomas with Hope, but ever since he walked out, I fully expected a May Sweeps reunion. We'll see. Nothing I have seen happen on the show or in spoilers has changed my opinion about this. I do not think we're going to see Hope hooking up with Femme nor do I think we're going to see her backsliding to Waffle Boy. I just think she and Thomas needed a moment and they're going to come back together with even more fire than before. We'll see how it goes. May Sweep starts next week. But let me know what you think in the comments and definitely subscribe if you haven't. And please come back soon because we are here talking bald and the beautiful seven days a week on your number one soap opera channel. And as always, this is Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.